What do a strawberry plant and a cactus have in common? Let's compare them and find out. Let's start at the bottom of the plant and work our way up. Most plants have roots. They help anchor the plant in the ground. Roots get water for the plant by soaking up water from the soil. This water holds dissolved nutrients that plants also need. These strawberry plants have shallow roots that spread out just below the surface. In the winter, strawberry leaves die. The roots store food that keeps the plant alive until new leaves grow in the spring. Cactus roots are built to collect water in dry environments. Some cacti have a long, deep root called a taproot. A taproot anchors the plant and gets water from deep underground. They also have shallower roots that spread out over a large area. Cacti generally live in warm, dry places, and this system keeps them alive through all the seasons. Above the roots is a stem. The stem has two roles. First, it holds up the plant. Second, it's a pipeline to bring water from the roots to the leaves. Some stems are strong and thick like this cactus. Cacti can store a lot of water in their stems. Strawberry stems spread out over the ground. This helps get sunlight to lots of leaves. Most plants make their food inside their leaves. Plants need sunlight, air, and water to make food. Leaves take in sunlight and air, and they receive water that travels up from the roots. This cactus has spines, not leaves. These spines help keep animals from eating the cactus and drinking the water inside. The cactus makes food in its stem. There are many different types of plants. Go find a few in your region and compare their structures to some of the plants you have seen here. Whoa, today we are going to learn about the plant parts. So we're going to start some music, we're going to teach you some cool things, and it's going to be a good time. Okay, so plants have six parts. All right, so how many plant parts are there? <laughs> yeah, six. There are six plant parts. The first three help plants get water, make food, and grow. They are roots, stems, and leaves. The second three help plants grow new plants. They are flowers, fruit, and seeds. So let's learn the plant parts one by one. First, the parts that help the plant get water, make food, and grow. Okay, so the first plant part we're going to look at today are the roots. Roots have a special job. You see, roots hold the plant in the soil. The soil is the dirt in the ground. Then, Roots bring water and nutrients from the soil to the plant. Roots are usually underground, but can be above ground too. Have you ever seen a tree that looks like this, where the roots are above ground? Remember, the roots hold the plant to the soil. Okay, so now we're going to look at the second part of a plant, which are the stems. Now the stems hold the plant up above ground. The stems carry water and food through the plant. Stems are the delivery system of the plant. Roots get water and nutrients from the soil, and the stems carry the water and nutrients throughout the plant. 
Remember, the stem holds the plant above ground. The next part of the plant we're going to learn today are leaves. The leaves are on the end of the stems of plants. And this is interesting. Leaves are where plants make most of their food. Leaves take in air, and they use air, water, and sunlight to make food. Remember, leaves are on the end of the stems. Okay, so next, the parts that help the plant make new plants. The next part we're going to look at are flowers. Flowers, like leaves, grow on the end of the stems. Flowers are often the most colorful part of the plant. Okay, now this is awesome. The rich colors of flowers help attract pollinators. That's why they're beautiful. The beauty has a purpose. After getting pollinated, flowers can make seeds and fruit. Do you love fruit? Yes, fruit is awesome! You have flowers to thank for that. Flowers make fruit. So the next time you're eating an amazing piece of fruit, just think to yourself, oh, thank you, flowers. Thank you, flowers. Remember, flowers are the colorful growths on the stems. The next part of the plant we're going to learn about is the fruit. All right, now where on the plant is the fruit? Fruit hangs on the end of stems. Now, you might be wondering, what's the fruit's job? What does the fruit do? Well, the fruit's job is to hold the seeds. The fruit is just a delicious seed holder. Now either one of two things happens to fruit. Fruit is either picked and eaten, or it falls off the plant and rots. Remember, fruit is the tasty stuff on the stems. Okay, the last part of the plant that we're going to learn today are the seeds. So where are the seeds of the plant? Seeds hide inside of the fruit. Now the seeds have an incredible job. You see, seeds grow into new plants. Okay, you might be wondering, well, how does that work? Well, here's one way. When animals eat fruit, they eat the seeds. Later, the seeds leave the animal through its waste wherever the animal is. This is called dispersal. Or, fruit falls from the tree and rots. The word rots means dies. The fruit dies. It rots. The seeds fall out and can make a new plant. The first way, called dispersal, takes the seed to another place so it plants a new plant in a new place. When a fruit falls and rots, it plants a new plant nearby the original plant. Remember, seeds live inside of the fruit. Hey, it looked like you were doing a good job paying attention, learning about the plant parts, and now we want to see how much you learn.
we're going to play a game called Name the Plant Part. We're going to show you a plant part, and then you go ahead and tell us which plant part it is. All right, hope you're ready, because here we go. Look at this picture of a plant. Which plant part is colored in? Uh-huh. The fruit. The fruit of this plant. Great job. Here's the next one. What plant part is colored in? Yeah, the leaves. The leaves are colored in. Great job. All right, it's time for this one. It's colored brown. Which plant part is this? Uh-huh. The roots. Awesome. Okay, let's try this one. What part of the plant is colored in? Do you see it there on the bottom? What is that? Yeah, what part is that? Yes! The seeds! Let's try this one! Look at the picture! Could you name the plant part? Which plant part is that? You can see it's outlined in color. Yeah, the flowers! Awesome job! All right, here's our last one. Which plant part is this? Yes, it's the stem. Good job. Woohoo! Well, I am impressed. I mean, you learned those plant parts so well. And it was great having you. I hope that it was helpful to you. And we hope to see you next time.